Hello you awesome people out there and hope you all are doing absolutely fine in the middle of this pandemic especially when the lockdown is just extending perpetually. Well today we are going to be talking about a special lens which I have been waiting waiting and waiting a lot to get my hands on. Well due to the lockdown I couldn't uh, buy it off the shelf uh, so as soon as the lockdown was uh, removed uh and amazon started its delivery i got my hands on to the samsung 85mm t 1.5 cine lens yes the t is replacing the f when it comes to cine lens but it's a brilliant lens and uh, i want to show you how it looks so this is the lens so lens itself is made fully out of metal parts nothing is plastic i mean at least it doesn't feel like plastic uh the this the cine lens has uh, aperture ring and a focus ring which is manual it's uh, it's dampened well and it's pretty smooth uh, so that uh, the aperture ring can be connected to the external gears same like uh, industry profile and uh, the only the caps which you have uh, those are plasticky but other than that the whole the whole lens looks pretty sturdy and pretty high quality uh it's got eight blade uh, iris which is manually adjustable and that 1.5 aperture really lets a lot of light in and gives you that amazing bokeh which you always wanted the only disadvantage of this is that uh, i miss having image stabilization in this because whenever i am uh, doing handheld video or footage um yeah it's it's a lot of uh, you know those micro jitters um, in the in the footage i can see uh, which yes you can amend in the post but i'm not a big fan of that well for the images it's it's pretty awesome because that t1.5 uh, lets you shoot uh, in you know indoor dark places and all that um however the only mis- uh, disadvantage of this lens is that since it does not have autofocus my canon 60 mark ii does not tell me when it is actually focused properly onto a subject so for that i have to uh, zoom in the digital zoom and i have to really check it out if the images uh, of subject is in focus well it's it's okay if you have a planned uh, shoot but if you're going for a if you're going for a run and gun kind of shoot uh, i wouldn't recommend uh, having this uh, the only reason being uh, there's no image stabilization and there's no auto focus uh, these are the only two things well not even image stabilization uh, the auto focus mostly so that's the only thing i miss in this lens well let's get on to the construction part and i'm going to show you this lens up close all right guys let's get on to the construction and the making of this lens there's hardly any plastic material which i can figure out uh it's just this part and rest of the parts are all well built um it feels heavy at around 580 grams this lens is a bit heavy for its uh, uh for its range but i like heavy lenses and uh, i like that uh, you know the sturdiness in my hand when i'm shooting uh let's get on to the aperture ring like i said the aperture ring maximum aperture you can go up to is 1.5 here and the minimum aperture is 22 so like i said in cine lenses it's not f but t uh, t being the that you can micro adjust uh, and you will get exactly the same value in other cine lenses um another thing is that the aperture ring is declicked which means that uh, for every change in aperture setting you will not get a click whereas it's a smooth movement the another drawback of this lens is that the minimum focusing distance is at about 3 and a half feet roughly so yeah so you have to be really at a distance uh, to your subject all right guys so if you've liked this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of the awesome videos which i will be shortly uploading into my channel until then take care and stay safe